Ultimate X-Men continues to deliver on all fronts except for this one. What's going on Marvelites? I'm Joe and today I'm talking about Ultimate X-Men issue number two written and designed by Peach Momoko. Ultimate X-Men continues to be somewhat of a horror comic. Personally, I'm not really into horror type things. In fact, I basically avoid them. In this issue, we continue to have Hisako, the main character, basically be haunted by this demon shadow for essentially allowing Hisako's friend Tsubasa to take his own life and now this shadow is getting vengeance on those people who tormented Tsubasa. And it's essentially up to Hisako to stop this demon shadow from killing these people. The biggest thing that we get now is an introduction of a new character, Mei, who she meets at school and basically Hisako just says, can you come with me to this place where the shadow has now invited Hisako once again to an old school that's been closed down essentially. So they both go in. There happens to be this cop in there who's like, what are you guys doing? And I knew something was up because it said that this school has been closed down for a little bit. And I'm like, why is there just like a random cop trolling in here? And then we come to find out that that cop is basically another version of this demon shadow or the demon shadow is like controlling this person. Eventually turns into like a really gross and disgusting thing and eventually attacks Mei and Hisako. The biggest thing that we do learn, if you couldn't tell from the cover with a picture of Mei, is that she is also a mutant and based on her earrings, which are very resemblant of the symbol for Storm, it appears that Mei's mutant ability is is that she's able to conjure elemental powers like wind, which is exactly what we see in this comic, but also maybe other elemental powers just like Storm. The other big revelation in this comic is we get another introduction to a character. However, we don't learn their name. We end up seeing this like carryover picture from the middle school to this house. And we see this person like in a closet with pictures surrounding them and this like thing attached to their head. And there's a picture in the background of what looks like Hisako, and this person's like, I know that girl from somewhere, and then he says her name, and that's all we get. So I don't understand who this person is or what role he plays. It seems like he somewhat has control maybe over this demon shadow. I don't know. It's kind of it's hard to tell. Um, if you have any thoughts, please put them down below in the comments if you read this, and I would love to know because I'm kind of just like, who is this guy and what's happening? While I think this issue is a great addition to Ultimate X-Men, I really enjoyed it. I'm intrigued, like I wanna know more about May. I wanna know more about who this guy is and what role he plays in, in all of this. The art is amazing by Peach Momoko. It's just a real treat to look at. I personally have little to no experience with anime or manga or anything along those lines. And so I'm mainly just a Marvel comic reader. And when I see something like this in this art style, it's definitely a refresher for the eyes to just see something new and different from what I'm typically used to seeing. For me right now, the biggest miss in all of this and why I think it just doesn't deliver is that there's no other connection to the overarching ultimate universe. I would assume that eventually there will be, but so far after two issues, there has yet to be any other mention of what's happening in the ultimate universe we're getting some of those background clues and connections to other comics with ultimate spider-man and even ultimate invasion and i just haven't seen that connection in ultimate x-men and if i'm missing something please let me know i would love to know i'm assuming that we will eventually get there like i don't think jonathan hickman is like running this whole thing it's just like you know what do your own thing we'll figure it out eventually i would just like something the only connection that is there is literally in the prologue in the beginning as to who the maker is, what he's doing. He has control basically over the entire earth and has his specific delegates controlling specific areas of the earth. What are your thoughts? If you read this issue, please let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think about this Ultimate X-Men issue and maybe just Ultimate X-Men altogether. If you've made it this far in the video, I truly appreciate you sticking around. If you want more Marvel content just like this and you want to be part of a great Marvel community, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. And until the next video, Excelsior.